I hope I did this right now because <laughs> uh, never done this before, but um, we'll see. Welcome to my channel, Emily's Outdoor Adventures. Today I'm out in the forest again and I'm going to try to bake in my Dutch oven. Yes, a couple of months ago I bought a Dutch oven and it's in anodized aluminium. I know uh, there's a lot of people who have opinions about that. You know, why didn't you buy one in cast iron? Well, let's just say that this one weighs 66% less than one you know in, in the cast iron so um i can't carry one uh, this big in cast iron you know then i would need to have my car and i prefer to use my legs when i'm out in the forest so as i said it's anodized and a lot of pots and stuff we buy in sweden are made out of anodized aluminium and uh yeah we haven't got sick yet but you know, um, when I posted this on my Facebook a couple of months ago, I got a lot of comments and people telling me I was tricked and fooled and it's a horrible thing to buy and so on. That wasn't very kind. But um, you know, it weighs 2.8 kilos instead of like 8 to 10 kilos. So it makes a huge difference. Uh, but I like it. I do. And I'm going to bake in it today. And what I'm going to bake is that I'm going to bake blueberry pie yay um so i i have made the smule deg as we call it in swedish uh the dough thing you have in the pie it's just flour and uh, margarine or butter which you just mix together with your hands and then i'm going to have uh, blueberries which i have mixed with a little bit of potato flour and sugar and um, yeah, I hope it will be good. I'm a little bit afraid that I will burn the whole thing since I've never done this before. But I have read a lot. Um, I have a, the recipe is from a book I got at the Swedish Bushcraft Festival. This book, Läger Eldens Mat. If I translate that to Swe uh, English, it would be, uh, I don't know, uh, campfire food or food over open fire. Uh, so I got this from one of the authors, uh, Joha. Thank you. So this is uh, one of his recipes. It's a lovely book, so I can really recommend it if you are Swedish. Um, so we'll see how this will go. I've already started the fire because it has to burn for a while. I need the, the glow, I think you call it. And, and I made a little tripod very quickly, so I have something to to um, hang it in. The thing with a Dutch oven, as I think most of you already know, is that the lid is a bit special. So you put the, the wood on the lid, so you get heat from the top and from the bottom. So it becomes like a little oven. That's why it's called a Dutch oven. Yay! So, hopefully I'm going to eat a blueberry pie soon, or the whole thing will get burned. I don't know! Yay! It's just, you know, trial and error with Emily. So, now I'm going to make the pie, which isn't very complicated because I've, you know, done this at home already. Um, so I have to cover the bottom of the um, oven with this, and then I have to spare some to have on the top too. So, let's see. Oops piece of the forest so so it covers and as you can see I've covered my blueberries with potato flour and and sugar and these are a bit frozen right now because I had to put them in the freezer after I picked them so you know but I think that would be good so I just oh look there's a bit of the forest in there too I mean, this is perfect. Now I have all the blueberries. Oh, I have a bit of a lot of sugar in the middle. Oh, maybe I should go and get my little spork. So 
so and then I put the rest of it on top of it. This is called a smule pie in Swedish. So you cover the whole thing with the smule pie. I think it's called shortbread pie in English. Not sure, but I think so. Could be wrong. Please tell me. So there. And now I have to put this over the fire and I have to place a uh, wood on the lid too. Okay, so now I have some wood up there too. I hope I did this right now, because <laughs> uh, never done this before, but um, we'll see. It might go very black or nothing happens in there, but hey, you have to try, but it looks good. The recipe says that you should have it over the fire approximately around 30 minutes. But since this is in aluminium, I have shortened it down, so I'll, I will check the pie in three minutes. Then it's been 20 minutes over the fire. Uh, just to see, you know, what happened and if I have to put the lid back on again. I hope not, because it looks very hot. Well, let's see now if this is ready. Oh, wow, look at that! My pie! Can you see that? I think it is ready. Yummy! Wow, it's not burned. I don't know. Oh, I haven't seen the bottom of it, but you know, it looks very nice from here. Maybe I should try. <laughs> okay, this was a bit tricky. Ow! Well, I have to say, uh, this was absolutely perfect. Not even in my own oven I get this this good. I mean, look at this. Nothing is burnt. Nope. As you can see. Wow. Well, thank you for that recipe. That was really good. Yeah, some milk-free vanilla sauce. As we say in Swedish. But look at that. How lovely. And just turn you Whee! and there I am too hello okay so now I have to taste this too I know it's a very 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 huge pie because it's a very big Dutch oven it's 12 inches I think you say in American yeah it's it's almost five liters in in liters so uh, so if you have a big family or a lot of friends, yeah, it's perfect to bake in. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, that was very nice. Uh, I have, um, as I said, mixed the blueberries with some sugar. And I don't eat sugar very often, so... 
but it was nice. Is as we say, or I will probably become, as we say in Swedish, up som en sol och ner som en pannkaka. Up like a sun and down like a pancake. Yes, that's what's happening. What well, that's brutal. Yeah, that's what happens to me when I eat too much sugar. But it's okay because it tastes so good. Yeah. So I can really recommend um, a Dutch oven, uh, the one in anodized aluminium even. Um, it doesn't even look like I have to wash it. I mean, it's not burned at all. How lovely. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my videos. I hope you liked my video. If you do, please subscribe. And don't forget to press that bell thing, because if you don't, you won't get a notification when my videos are uploaded on YouTube. Yep. But thank you so much. I hope I will see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.